All right, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your map animations look even better by adding some clouds inside of your animation. So here's a little preview. As you can see, we have this uh, cloud thing going on in our satellite image uh, that we are zooming into. And it just gives a nice uh, touch to our animation. So let's create this effect. So here in the blank fusion composition, let's go to the fusion page where we will create this animation. So the first thing we'll do is we'll drag in our image and straight away we will add it to our image plane 3D, right? Just uh, search for image plane 3D, click on add. So if you take a look at this image plane 3D, you can see that this is our satellite image. And we're just uh, adding image plane 3D to this to turn this into a 3D environment. Uh, the next thing is drag in the fast noise and we will use this fast noise as clouds. And we will just increase the detail a little bit and let's increase uh, the scale and uncheck maybe this continuous. And uh, let's see, yeah, let's just play around with the sliders over here and try and come up with a, a cloudy texture like so, right? So once you're happy, you can also take this fast noise and add an image plane 3D to this. Now let's just connect both of these and this result in Merge 3D. Let's view this Merge 3D and you can see that they are right on top like that. And we're gonna just um, take this fast noise image plane 3D. Let's select that, go to transform and just push it forward in Z space, like so. And I'm gonna set this to around 0.3 and you can also scale it up like that. After the merge 3D, just click on it and add in a camera. So you can just click on this icon over here to add a camera 3D. And let's just take this right over here after the merge, again, click on Merge 3D and add in a Renderer 3D. Connect the Renderer 3D to the Media Out. This will be our final output. So now if you take a look at Media Out, this will be completely blank. And the reason for that is because we need to go to Camera 3D, go to Transform and change the Z position like so. As you can see that once you increase the value, then you're going to see the map and the fast noise as well. So I'm going to zoom out till we see the entire map over here. And then all we have to do is just uh, create a animation for the camera animation. Let's click on use target and you can just sort of create a go to the very first frame, which is frame zero. I right click in, under translation and click on animate translate group. This will create keyframes on all the three properties over here, which is X, Y, and Z. And then let's go to the end and just simply change the position and all that stuff. So, all right, cool. So now you can see that we have this, um, this uh, fast noise being cropped over here. And uh, to fix this, you can just simply increase the scale I think that's the easiest way to do that. So yeah, if you go to the first frame, uh, you play the animation and this is how it is going to look. And you can see the playback right now is 11 frames. I'm gonna just uh, go to playback over here, change the proxy resolution to half. And this will, uh, this will make sure that the playback is smooth. And there you have it. You can see that we have this really nice animation. But at the end, we can see the map over here kind of uh, blanked out over here. So let's just uh, go to camera 3D again and change the look of it. So something like this. Or you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just double click on Y. So we don't have any X or Y keyframes. We just have a simple zoom in animation like this. So we want to zoom in. Not that far, let's just zoom out a little bit so we can still see the map over here. All right, so this is a simple zoom in animation. As it's zooming in, I want the clouds to disappear as if the camera is going under the clouds. 
So what I'm going to do is go to image plane 3D2, which is connected to this fast noise. And I'm actually going to push it on the Z scale. So set this to around one and let's see how that looks. So uh, we have an effect like this. And we will just go to fast noise again and change some values such as uh, scale so that we have more of these clouds. And you can go to fast noise image plane 3D, go to controls and under blend mode. Uh, you can set the, you can change the blend mode and right now it's set to additive. And uh, since we are using the software renderer over here, if you are unsure, you can go to render 3D. You can see the renderer type is set to software renderer. So in the image plane 3D, we will go to blend mode under software and set this to subtractive. And I think that just gives a really nice result, right? You can see the clouds and it looks really cool. So now to add some, let me just add some more details into the clouds and you can change the brightness, you can change the contrast and all that stuff. And you can even increase the see rate so that we have some animation in the clouds. You can see that it is too fast right now. So we want it to be really subtle. So yeah, something around 0.02-ish. So that looks, that looks pretty good. So now you can see that um, after, right at frame 109, the clouds just disappear suddenly. And that is because if you take a look at most 3D, you can see that the camera is very close to this fast noise, right? And that's why it disappears suddenly. So what we can do is to fix this, maybe there's a better way to do this, but what I would suggest you to do is go to image plane 3D, go to material. Um, we are going image plane 3D of the fast noise. Make sure you are clicking on the right nodes over here. Create a keyframe and opacity. So we just created this opacity keyframe at frame 109. And let's uh, move forward to uh, move backwards to frame 90 or maybe 95 and see the opacity to one over there. So at frame 95 opacity is one and at frame 109, we will just reduce it. So that to zero. So we're just basically creating a fade out animation on these clouds. So now if you play the animation, they won't be that abrupt change in the animation and you can also play around with the positioning of the keyframes so if I just select these two keyframes and I can just sort of um, push it forward in time and maybe you know change the distance between the two keyframes to make it to you know smooth out the animation even more but I kind of like how the animation is Right, so once the last thing you can do is after you render 3D, add in a transform node, type in XF transform and animate the angle. So we'll right click, modify width and choose perturb. So if you play the animation, you can see that we have this um, angle property being animated through this perturb modifier. Uh, but as you can see also that uh, at some point you will see that we have this empty um, pixel or empty transparent area. We can just simply scale it up to fill that in. Right. So that is pretty much it. You could also add shake if you want. Center X and Y. Right click. Modify with uh, perturb. And let's go to the modifiers and you can see that the X and Y values are ridiculously high. So let's just set this to a really small number so that we have some camera movement going on in our scene all right so there you have it that's how easy it is to create this animation and then all you have to do is just add some sound effects to this to make it more interesting so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching 
Hope this video is helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.